Alice was doing so well in that game. There's this those certain character with the upbeat that goes in a di um, diagonal direction. And just, if you do it the wrong way, you're going to die. Yep. The main two I knew, I know. Rosalina and Charizard. If you turn them around, they're dead. That day. Ugh. All right. Now, Mer versus Frost. Okay, so Mario versus Diddy. Yep. All right, so they both know this matchup really well. It yeah. just depends how each of them play. Yeah, uh... After. Yeah. So the new season starts up in two weeks. Yep. For Red Line. I'm curious to see how this one goes out. <laughs> like, is, is Frost a big contender here? I haven't, I haven't really been... Yeah, he's doing pretty well. I mean, he... Every once in a while, he... Get seventh or sixth. Okay, okay. So he's up. He's definitely up there. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Well, it'll be fun to see a, a Diddy Mario matchup, especially of yeah. a higher caliber. Definitely. And he also gets coaching from Aerolink, so that does help. Frost. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. <sighs> Qua. The best thing against Murr. Is to just basically catch him off guard. Yeah, and don't get grabbed. Yes. I mean, that's bread and butter for Mario. <laughs> just mainly it's spacing off. Yep. And then don't get grabbed. <laughs> and watch out for fireballs off uh, when you're off stage because Murr is vicious with that. Oh, yeah, definitely. So... Frost may have to recover low to, to not get hit by one of those because if you get hit with the jetpack on, it's completely like terrifying. Yeah. The other thing is, you have to know how to dodge the fireballs or just perfect pick shield. Oh, yeah. On stage, yeah. Yeah, on stage. Because they do a lot of damage if you just take them the whole time. All right, here we go. I believe that was Town and City. Yes. Yep. All right, here we go. They're both starting out with the safer options, just to see how each of them approaches. Not going to fully commit yet. Yeah, it seems like um, Frost is just letting. Um, Murr do what he need, um, wants and then just approaching with the option. And so far it's working really well for him. And in anticipation for the uh, the banana he, he caped reflexively. <laughs> yep. But he has to also watch out. Murr is very good at um, grabbing the projectiles thrown at him. That's actually what happened last time they faced against each other. Okay. Oh, there goes that grab. And the percent starts to rack up. Caught the banana pretty well. Oh, very nicely done shield to grab. There. Forced, yeah, forced oh, shield pressure. Good very good DI to get out of that combo. Oh, here we go! Ooh, very good DI to not die from that. If he would actually DI'd in, he would have died from that. Alright, you set up the banana. Catch him with the up air. Back air. Caught the banana. That's cool. Murr is just holding on to that banana. I mean, it's the best option just the, so Diddy Kong doesn't have a chance to get it back. Oh. 
expected the monkey business, jumped in the air, tried to throw out a fire. Oh, very nicely done. I mean, the best option when getting hit by the banana is wanting to be off stage when it hits you. Uh, but he gets smash. caught with the up smash. All right. Now it's time for Frost to get some extra credit. Let's see what he does. Ooh, very good DI by Murr to get out of that um, spike. Very early end of the match. Diddy Kong sitting at 129, enjoying this rage while he has it. But has to be careful because Murr knows how to optimize off of grabs. Especially it's... staying near the uh, ledge like that. Yeah, Murr wants to get a fast up smash to get this stock taken away. Ooh, Banana was just short of getting the hit. Frost choosing the uh, attack option instead of the grab option with the side B. Very nicely done. Looks like Murr was using the fireballs to put pressure on him, put him on the edge of the stage, maybe roll behind and get a grab. Yep. Chop the stock. Anytime he can get a back throw right now, he wants it. There you go, nicely done. Made him work for it though. Frost wasn't giving him any any openings. Well what he's doing is he's using that down um down air to make him shield um leading into the grab. Which is very smart by Murr. Oh, very nicely done keeping the shield pressure. Yeah, it was best to just Oh, it stopped it. it! Wow. If that forward smash would have continued, he would have died. Air up air. He's challenging playing on the pressure. Challenging the side view with the back air. That was cool. Reading that get up option is so hard right now. Murr has to be so smart. Oh! Get rid of the banana. Oh! Oh no! Oh. That would have been really bad for Frost. Not gonna, gonna kill, kill yet. Back throw? Not gonna kill just yet. And the platform is there to help Murr! No! Not yet. If he gets one fireball. Oh, it's so close. Both at equal percent. One hit will do it. Oh, he gets the last hit of Smash. Very nicely done, Frost. Oh my god. That was so <laughs> close. Yeah, the big thing that people can use against Murr is he short hops so much everywhere. If you can just catch him doing that, you can catch him off guard so easily. Ugh. And Frost is gone. Yep, yeah, he's oh, like, back there. Alright. Oh, he's getting coaching from the back. About the same, Murr just melted him. Who won that first one? Frost. Frost, okay, just making sure. Alright, on to game two. Running it back to, uh, town, right? yeah. town and city. I believe Murr, um, Murr knew the, um, how to do it. He just didn't execute it well enough. Alright, he's going to start more of a fireball approach and get the multi-hits in. That worked so well for him last game. Oh, Sitting pretty there you go. The oh, very nicely done grabbing that banana. There's the first hit, 10%. Oof, 11%. Yep. I believe Murr should be just trying to call out um, Frost's side B because 
Frost used that um, used his side B so much with Diddy Kong. Oh, climb the ladder! Ooh, very nicely done with the DI to get out of that. Banana missed the down tilt. Ooh, he doesn't have his jump. Catches the inner side B. Call out. Alright, Mario setting up the banana. Oh, very nicely done catching him with that back air. Mur um, is very coefficient using that back air any time he needs it. Back nicely air. done catching him. That was that landing lag that helped him. All right, now. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, Mur, you're a god. Oh, oh no! And another SD. Oh, the bunk. Oh. It was really scary for him right there because if one of those fireballs would have hit, the jetpack would have blew up. So he had no option to um, try to charge it all the way. Yeah, he was. Uh, it looked like he tried to curve it, but just couldn't get that sharp enough curve and ended up eating the, the bottom of Town and City or uh, yep. Smashville. Losing track of the stages. But we're running into game three, 1-1. One, one. All right. Hey guys, Town & City. Last game, Town & City. One, Not much different from last game. It's just one, um, two more platforms. But it does change up the um, kill options for the both of them. Yeah. A platform reset for a Mario up top is <laughs> its scary. Oh my god. This is actually... This helps out Mario so much more than Diddy Kong right now. Oh, very nicely done with the air dodge to get out of that. Boom. And Mario is standing at a pretty good lead right now. Ooh. Yep. Good option by Murr to just fall off stage instead of um, trying to go back into um, Diddy Kong. Because he would have caught that forward smash. Oh my god! Miss space to grab. Yeah, Mur really wants to grab right now. And Frost is doing his best not to get grabbed because he knows what's going to lead after the grab. Oh. That back air is coming in so handy. <laughs> oh, good up. read on the roll. Oh, Frost doing really good about not getting caught by any Murr's traps. Yep. It's so scary with Diddy Kong's up B because he has to charge it. And one hit from anything can knock off his up B. Yep. Oh, very nicely done with the short hop back air. We're sitting at a healthy 78% right now. So let's see what um, Mar uh, Murr can do to get this extra credit lead. See, Murray's playing smart here. He's uh, he's he's making Diddy approach because with the stock lead, he doesn't have any reason to. Yep, and Frost has to get some damage in to get this um kill. He's I don't think he kill right now. Oh no, it starts. It already 70 um uh, 37 percent. Mm-hmm. Murray's sitting at the percent where he's got a decent chunk, but he's not getting any rage. <laughs> That's kind of good right now for him because with the rage, he couldn't pull off these combos as well. So he is getting, it was pretty good for him to get that lower percent. Oh, he's trying to um, read, um, read um, Diddy Kong to get the grab. Oh no. Oh, the barrel's exploding, almost killing Murr. Not going to kill just yet. Oh, Smash. nicely done. Take the first first stock. Yeah, that first hit of up smash actually held him in place for the last hit. Oh, one hit. 
One more hit will kill Diddy Kong. Nah. Oh, nope, not yet. Yep. Cross is really good by recovering oh, like low. Very nicely done with the short short hop back air. Yep, not gonna do it. Hmm. Too too far down to actually get recovery. That was his best option to try to do because if he tried to charge it all the way, he would just fell fell off the map. Yeah. 